Why do people brag? I'm Daniel R. Jennings, and today we're going to find out the answer to that question. We all know someone who is just a bragger. Anytime they get something new, they have to make sure that everybody knows about it. Anytime they accomplish something new, they have to make sure that everybody knows about it. Facebook has only made the problem worse. Whereas before, most people could only brag to a few people at, 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 at any given time. Now, people can literally brag to thousands of people. Every day if they wanted to. And some people probably do that. Anytime they get a new car, check out the 35 new pictures of my new car. Anytime they go on a vacation, check out the 120 photos from my trip to Hawaii. Well, the reason people behave this way is it's really rooted in, in one thing, in insecurity. People who brag are insecure on the inside. On the inside, they feel that they're on a level below other people. And in their mind, if they accentuate the things that they have uh, accomplished or the things that they have come to possess, they feel like it's going to impress other people. It's going to make them think higher of them. Um, but in reality, uh, you know, this is wrong, and we all know that it's wrong to brag. And it's wrong for a number of reasons, and it's not the way to find security either. But it's wrong, you know, first of all, because... It's not very loving to show off the things that you have accomplished or the possessions that you have. All that's really going to do is just um, make other people feel bad. You know, when they see your new car, it's going to make them feel bad because they have an old car. When they see your luxury vacation, it's going to make them feel bad because they had to go to the local beach. That was all they could afford to, to do. So, it's not a very loving thing to be a bragger. It's actually a very unloving thing thing. And, you know, the second reason it's wrong is because a person's value is not in their possessions or their achievements. You know, your value is never determined by the amount of things that you own. And your value is never determined by the amount of worldly things that you achieve. Your value is and always has been determined by the character that you have. Are you a good person? Are you an honest person? Are you a person that loves righteousness and truth and wants to do the right thing when faced with the decision to make either the, the right decision or the wrong decision. You know, that's where your value comes from. Um, and finally, and, and, and perhaps the biggest reason why it's wrong to brag is that everything you have and everything that you are able to accomplish, it all comes from God who either gives it to you or gives you the ability to accomplish or achieve whatever it is that you uh, accomplish or achieve. You know, everything you have comes from God. All our abilities, all our talents, all our gifts, all our possessions, it all comes from God. But when people are bragging, um, you know, in some way, it's, it comes across as, look what I, I did. At least oftentimes it comes across that way. You know, it's like, hey, I graduated from college. You know, I got the perfect job. I was able to go on this great vacation. You know, it was all I, 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 I. I did this, I did that, I did all these things. But the truth is, you can't do anything. None of us can. Unless God gives us the strength and ability and the grace to do it. So, any bragging should not be reflected towards us because that's what people do when they're bragging. They're trying to reflect people's attention to themselves um, so that people will look at them and see what they've got, what they've done, you know, what they are doing. Instead, our bragging should be directed to God. And we should be focusing on, you know, if we share any of those things with other people, then I think we really need to be careful what we share because, again, we don't want to make other people feel bad and we don't want to make people feel like uh, our value comes from the things we own, or the things that we've done. But if a case ever does arise where it seems appropriate to do that, we need to be careful to make sure that we are giving God the proper credit and the proper glory, because the only reason we accomplished it, the only reason we did it, was because God gave us the ability to do it. 
I'm Daniel R. Jennings, and this is another life lesson.